Welcome back to the Headbangers Ball. And right now, I'd like to welcome no strangers to the show, Mike and Robert of Infectious Grooves. But we'd also like to introduce and welcome Dean of Infectious Grooves, who is making his MTV debut right now. And right now, we'd like to also say hello to Dean's mother, who is an avid viewer of Headbangers Ball. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hi, <laughs> Hi, Dean's mom. We'll see now, you tomorrow. you guys, we've talked to Mike and Robert several times regarding suicidal tendencies. And we've also talked to you several times regarding infectious groups. You've been on the show probably more than, than me. But uh, for those people that aren't too familiar with infectious groups, why don't you let us in about the whole infectious groove thing? All right, well, Infectious Grooves is a uh, new band. Suicidal Tendencies is still very much together, because we always hear that. We also hear about people saying, oh, this project, but it's not a project, it is a band. I mean, we are touring, and uh, we're doing another record in the future, so I uh, just wanted to square that away real quick. Well, who are we touring with? We're touring with Ozzy Osbourne. Yeah. It's not a bad tour to get it's on a great tour. new band. <laughs> oh, no, it's, it's actually a really cool thing, and one of the best examples, like, the suicidal weird band for nine years before we ever got the, the Queens like tour and stuff, which was a great thing. And but um, it took us nine years and then to get the Aussie tour, like like when the record first came out and stuff, and to have like them ask us and want us to be on it and stuff. That's like a really a cool thing. Now, why don't you tell us a little bit about who is in Infectious Grooves? Right, well, uh, we have uh, Mr. Michael Muir on vocals, Dean Pleasance on guitar, uh, Adam Siegel, and. Uh, Stephen Perkins on drums and percussion. Who was in Jane's Addiction. Yeah, and one of the best drummers in the world, definitely. Incredible. So we're very fortunate to have uh, such a strong lineup. And uh, we're real excited about doing the tour. And, um, you know, I think it's going to be a good time. Cool. We'll talk a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> saw it all playing. We'll be back, back before, talking to the guys from Infectious Grooves about their style and maybe about Sarsipius. And we'll also take a look at their video, Punk It Up. So stick around because the Headbangers Ball will be back. That promise. Welcome back to the Headbangers Ball. Mike, Dean, and Robert of Infectious Grooves are here. Now, we talked a little bit that you guys are still in suicidal tendencies. There is still suicidal tendencies. Now, did you feel that there were things you couldn't necessarily do in that band? that you decided to do in infectious grooves? Um, other than not play, not, I, think other than play. I think this is just an example of the suicidal thing in a sense, because uh, with suicidal, I've always said, you know, if you look back in the old interviews, we're doing what we're doing because that's what we want to do, not because that's the only thing we can do. And what we're doing, we think is very important. And uh, I've always said too in interviews, I think you should do something regardless of what people think. If you believe in it, if you think it's good, go out there and prove it. And that's basically what this is. It's like, no one should tell you who you are. You got to determine who you're going to be, and if you're willing to back it up and do what you got to do, then do it. And uh, you know, it's like anything. There's there's certain things people like on certain days. You may like lasagna, but that don't mean you eat it for breakfast. And uh, so it's the thing. You know, we, it, it's cool. And I think the best thing about this record is the fact that we were expecting to get the worst, and it's actually been uh, really positive stuff. And and uh, I guess the best thing about it is when you see people when we were playing it with when we were at Queensryche, we went before people even knew what it was and we put it in tapes and stuff and you see people they start listening the first thing they do is they like wait a second they start smiling and stuff without knowing who it was and that's like the best thing you could ever have when you see someone smiling they get that kind of reaction that's better than anything yeah, because that's st i mean you dealt with a lot of serious things and stuff like that but with infectious grooves i mean with songs like you lie in your breath stinks you know stuff like that i mean would you say that it's just a real fun it's, record it's basically it's a different way of saying things you know it's like in english you have poetry there's hyperbole assembly you know there's different ways of saying things and sometimes you can get to the point where i've been with people and they just say you're a bad person because of your name because of the way you look because of the clothes you wear because of your hair you can't argue the point and sometimes the best thing to do is just say yeah well you lie in your breast tank and walk away mm -hmm. you know and it leaves them there because they want to get in this argument and blah 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 and it's like hey it ain't it ain't, it ain't doing no point you know a fighter would just walk away from it and it's sometimes it's the best thing to say is something like that and you know try it sometimes i guarantee you people laugh and you now, end up the winner now we all know you know the bands that you guys were in but what about you so you can say something because your mom will just say dean we watch you on that show and you sat on the couch and didn't say a thing what kind of you know did you play with any bands before yeah i'm in a groups? group called the truth which is uh on interscope records and uh it's a r&b funk thing and we do a lot of different you know things and the two producers uh john nettles b terry Coffey, are pretty well known they do a lot of r&b stuff so it was fun working with them it was a different thing it was uh something i always wanted to do and when i heard the project it was like wow you know i can do this you know and and uh, yeah. Came together really good. We, we, we had to have you say something. Your mom would have been real mad. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now let's play the video, which you also play guitar in. 
Yeah, actually, I played I played guitar on the record on the song and stuff, and so we did a video. I played on it and stuff, and it's a cool thing. Let's take a look at the video, Robert. Would you like to introduce it for us? You are about to see Punk It Up from Infectious Grooves. That was Infectious Grooves with Punk It Up, and right now, see what I said? Punk It Up to enunciate. And three members of Infectious Groove are here with us right now, Mike, Dean, and Robert. And uh, tell us a little about the video. Fast-paced, quick video. Video. Yeah, it was uh, these people at H Down from Chicago, and uh, they're gonna do our next video too. They're really cool people. It was a different thing because um, they just basically went to a location without permits, whatever, and just like filmed and stuff. And it was really quick and stuff, and it was really cool. They do a lot of really good editing stuff. And uh, I guess the funniest thing is we were in Hawaii, we were checking out the last two James Addiction show, and they sent us a copy of the Rough Trap to check out it. So we wanted to see it. There's no safety VCRs or nothing, so we like call all these places to do it. So we ended up going to the store. I'm talking fast because I don't want to get that. So we went to the store, <laughs> asked the guy if we could watch it because they have them and all the things. So they put it on, you know? And it's like one of the ones with the VCR, so it goes in all like four different TVs. So everybody's watching, all of a sudden it's happening. And the first thing I see is my ugly face going. And I'm like, oh my God, Poor I jumped down. All these people in the store all of a sudden start looking, and it's like, obviously it's me. And I'm like, oh, never mind. Okay. It's a cool video. I like it. What is going to be the next video? Uh, Therapy. Yeah. Now tell us about for those who still don't know who sings background on therapy. Oh, uh, we got we got Ozzy on there, and uh, Ozzy says nonchalant. I just Ozzie got Ozzy Osbourne Osbourne. to sing background yeah. vocals on it in Texas group. That was that was a really really cool thing for us and something we're really really happy about because I grew up when I was younger. That was Black Sabbath one of the. You grew up when you were younger. I grew up when I was young. I grew up actually very quick, but sometimes I'm still growing up. But that's all right. Okay. Well, um, the album, like I've said, is definitely a fun record, and we'll come back and talk a little bit about these guys' tour. But right now, here's debut from Fate's Warning. They've got a brand new album out. It's called Parallels. And here is a point of view from Fate's Warning. We're talking important things like hockey trades right now, but instead, let's talk right now about Infectious Screws. We talked about the record. There's a couple things I want to mention. First of all, tell us a little bit about Sarsipius. Sarsipius, oh no. He's probably watching this right now. He's probably very upset. Going, what are those guys doing on TV without me? Oh probably my showed guys. up the wrong studio. Yeah, that probably gave him the wrong happen. address. <laughs> yeah, give him the wrong itinerary. He, gets he got mad, mad because we played on Tuesday night our first show. Oh yeah, and uh, we, was to, we, we knew he was going to show, so we told him to let the message on his answer machine, gave him the wrong place, so he was kind of pissed off. So yeah. Sar Sarsipius, you, you got to really check out the record, which I do recommend. And um, Sarsipius is like this character that keeps on appearing in between songs. Yeah, right. Yeah. He thinks he's a star. You should hear my phone machine. He's calling it five times a day. He's on my phone machine, singing his single with He calls you. up and goes, <laughs> I heard we got the Aussie gig. What do you mean, we got it? <laughs> Tell us a little bit about the Aussie gig. Like we said, Infectious <clears throat> Group isn't a project. It still is a, definitely a band. Yeah. And you guys are going on tour with Ozzy Osbourne. Tell us a little bit about that. I mean, it's going to be pretty wild. I mean, because you still are a new band and now to play large arenas. Yeah, that's, that's going to be a really cool thing. And... Uh, but you can still see us tomorrow in San Antonio, because we're doing that on our own. And then we start up with Ozzy on the 12th in Austin. And um, so we do that. It's a major city tour. Saturday, and you're playing in Arizona, because I'll be there watching the week, them, yeah, too. Yeah, a week from Saturday in Arizona. I think you're going to fly back for the show, though, right? Oh, of course. I'll do Headbangers Ball and things. That's what I said. You come to the show, but you make exactly. sure you get back here, because people get mad at us. Oh, we're man. playing the videos. I'll go watch you guys. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, good luck with the tour and everything and all the shows. Once again, I suggest one of the records I recommend. It's a good, funky, fun rock record. And Dean, very well done. Hi, Hi Mom. Yeah, Hi, Dean's yeah. Mom. <laughs> Thanks a lot for stopping by. Right now, it is tonight, the time for the Ball Buster competition. Now, here is a look at what happened last week with the heated battle. Free and Easy from the Almighty lost to Loves a Loaded Gun from Alice Cooper. Tonight, Alice Cooper, the Ball Buster champion, is challenged by Lita Ford's Larger Than Life. Now, this is what you're going to do. You're going to watch both videos, then you're going to pick up your phone. You're going to call and vote for your favorite. What number do you call, you might ask? I will tell you. I will even show you. The number to call is 1-900-370-0100. Each call costs only 50 cents. Now, here is the current Ballbuster champion, Alice Cooper with Loves a Loaded Gun. 